He will see this man that used to make fun of him. He will see this friend that used to mark him being burned in the middle of the Jahannam. And he will say a statement. He will say, قَالَتْ اللَّهِ إِنْ كِدَّ لَتُرُدِينَ وَلَوْ لَا نِعْمَةُ رَبِّي لَكُنْتُ مِنَ الْمُحْضَرِينَ He will say, Subhanallah. Wallahi, you almost ruined me. He's remembering. You, you, have, you were so good. You were so eloquent. You almost caused me to leave Islam. You almost caused me to abandon Allah. You almost caused me to disbelieve. You almost ruined me. But Allah, Allah guided me. Because Allah kept me steadfast. Nah, he's thankful to Allah. He's saying that on the dunya, you almost led me astray. But Allah, these people, they are so good at talking. Some of these people, they will set you down. They, they, they call themselves intelligent. They're atheists. We are so intellectual. Wallah, it annoys me when I see Muslim looking up to these people. They are not intellectual. How can you believe this dunya came by itself? And you are intellectual. No, wallahi, they are not. We don't look up to them. Allah says, Wallahu yuridu an yatuba alaykum. Allah wants to forgive you. Wa yuridu alladheena yattabi'oona ash-shahawat an tamilu maylan azeema. Allah said, He wants to forgive you. He wants to accept your repentance. But do you know what is stopping you and I from repenting? It's those people in our lives that only care about following their desires. That's all they want. To follow, to, to fulfill their worthy desire, their dunya. So when they see you about to repent, they will tell you, listen, you are too young. Don't follow religion. It's man-made. They're very good at talking. 